2.5D-ish text animations. Yeah, that's right. That is what we are going to do today. And that is completely in Blender. I will not use After Effects or anything else. I will just use Blender. And I used this or I, I created this effect based on um, this demo file from the Blender side from the latest release. Grease Pencil, Blender file or, or demo file by André Dedus. I think that's its name. Um, that's his name. And he just is a really great artist that creates all kinds of scenes in this style um, with this shading style and in 3D. And I think that's just really nice. It's just really unique. And I wanted to try something similar, but um, still really different, basically. And then, yeah, I just um, used this file to um, use the shader, basically. And the rest is just what I usually did before. So, <clears throat> of course, the curve is the thing that we use um, to have something to light first. In the scene and what I usually do for that is go into curve point and just use this one as um, something that I can start with then go into that and uh, to edit mode for the point and just delete the point and then use this nice um, draw tool uh, usually with my pen tablet to draw something in the scene as you would ima imagine um, as the tool says and then of course um, yeah, you can just write it and if you use a mouse it looks as bad as this one and if you use a pen template it could use it could look like this and of course if you are not um, happy with the results you can also always um, just change the curve afterwards and then when you have your curve you notice two things it does look shitty and it does look shitty because it has no taper and because it has no bevel so you add those two things it's really easy to um, create those in theory except it's not because if you create or if you add a curve as a bevel it creates a curve as a bevel like this but i think that's what i remember at least it does not apply to this curve so you would need to go into the um curve options set this to 3d of course um, set the fill mode to full that's needed um, if you use the the bevel object i think this is just grayed out and then yeah if you go into the bevel options you can just set it to object and um, and just um, assign this curve in there and then you are done with your bevel then you also need a taper this one is a little bit easier you just Add a curve as a taper and then it just creates this curve for you it applies it and then you also have this um, tapering effect this um, fall off basically and of course if you just edit it it looks different except you do everything wrong like me hopefully not um yeah and you, then you can see it changes the middle and it changes one end and it changes the other and you get the idea so that's what you can do with a taper curve object and then you have a result that looks something similar to this um, if your resolution is too low you can set it higher here for the rendering um, for example so it does not affect your viewport performance or not too much at least or you could also um, add some subdivision in the modifiers and that's um, what i did for the text itself then I added some lights rotating around the whole um, text using this empty and that's just looping, that's it. Also added a grease pencil um, thing that is just random noise all over the place because I like the effect. Um, that is just in two separate layers. The third one I did not use and then it has a modifier for the time offset using only frame 1 to 10 and looping it. Yep, and that is everything for the scene I think. Taper, bevel, lighting and grease pencil. If you want you can um, as well 
add some grease pencil animations, outlines or something like that on the text, but I did not really like this one, so I did not use it. Then the shading um, is kind of straightforward if you get the base deal of the um, shading that is used. So it uses this um, shader group, which is from the demo file. And I just um, yeah, edited some of the values in here. We have this crucial shader to RGB node, which just as it says, converts the shader into RGB color that you can use. And then um, the RGB color is separated into RG and B and then used with different color ramps and different masks to um, yeah, just mask out each color um, input that you can then input there and then combines all of that with some mixed shaders into the final result. And that is the basis. Then I added some displacement, not really too much, not really adding too much to the um, scene, just some subtle um, noise displacement to make it a little bit imperfect. Then we have a principled, also nothing spectacular about this one, it's just a base principled um, setup. Mainly all the sliders are just set to zero, a lot of roughness, some transmission. Yes, it changes the color, it does not add transmission because it's um, converted to RGB. And then, yeah, of course, again, we have the shader to RGB again, and then different color inputs, basically five different colors. All of this represents basically one color. So this is the highlight color, which uses white, a really bright one, which has a value of five instead of one. You can just menu type, manually type that in. And then um, just some orange tones that are pretty close to each other, some red tones that are close to each other, um, a really dark red, wine red and a purple. And then this is the five different color steps in here. Yeah. And these color ramps just um, add some extra subtle gradient into this. Not too much, but also not too less. And then this is what I put into this shader or this, this group. Um, set the film to transparent so that I have a transparent background which I can use in compositing and that's the next part compositing um, yeah this is then if you just render it in EV by the way I used EV ambient occlusion bloom screen space reflections all turned on I'm not actually sure sure if screen space reflections will add something to the scene because of this shader but however I used it um, <clears throat> This is then a really quick rendering. It just takes about a second or something like that for me um, on, on something like yeah, full, full HD or something of something more. Then I threw on some glare to make the white parts glow a little bit. Um, some lens distortion, distorting the image and adding some dispersion, which you can see in the colorful spots around the letters at the um, outside. And because this one adds a black background by itself, sadly, I used this effect on the alpha path from the uh, real render layers output, sorry, um, as well. Did the same effect on that one, threw on the color ramp just to get rid of all the colors, just to have it, this version effect, the distortion effect, just without colors, and then um, use this one to set the alpha again. And then, yeah, it just removes the black color again. And then I created an ellipse mask, blurred it a ton, and just used two different red colors to um, create just this um, fading gradient, this radial gradient effect. And then with alpha over, just um, used my final rendering to put this over there. This is not actually the colors that I used. I used some thing that is more orange, but that's just up to you, of course. And then you just have your final animation. If you render it as, it as an as animation, of course, if you render still, you don't. But 
that's your final result basically that's what you can do and the great thing is that you have a lot of different things that you can do there's just a couple of different options for um, shape, uh, shaping the curves and using different bevel curves or tapers and just of course the style on how you write it is also important then there is um, the shader which has different color options of course and you can add for example color ramps if you like that and then yeah you can also add different backgrounds different grease pencil effects if you want or something completely different that's up to you if you have any ideas and you create something cool of course don't forget to tag me don't forget to show me i would like to see that what you do what you come up with and yeah you can just send it to me tag me on instagram if you share it there and also don't forget to check out my links down below which uh, should be in the description as always and i hope you learned something tell me if you did and if so i hope to see you in the next one goodbye